It's the month of love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Today's Tip Tuesday, we're going to be going through Chain of Hearts propagation. So what a, a good uh, Tip Tuesday or week to do it leading into Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing a couple of methods of, doing, of, of Chain of Hearts. You can do it through uh, water propagation. Uh, some people find it uh, just easier to have it in your house, you know, a jar of water uh, like this one here. So just like that. Um, or in into a potting mix. So I'm going to do some on some variegated chain of hearts here. So you can tell the difference between the normal chain of hearts and the variegated. There's quite a, a big difference there. A, a nice pink, and you'll even get like a bit of white um, in the in the variegated form as well. So and look, we got a, a, a nice little sample of Ivan there, um, sneaking in in that pot over there. So uh, another way of doing it. So we're going to be. You can cut the. Uh, cut the strands of the of the hearts um, with some scissors or you can also uh, propagate using the tubers so chain of hearts will produce tubers uh, they can even do it on the strands as well over time but if you just dig around so here's a tuber here um, you can actually just pick that out and you can plant that straight away so usually you get a few tubers out of it there there's a couple in that one there so another good way of doing it Quite quick that way as well you don't have to worry about the cuttings uh, of the strands you know developing roots so and good time of the year now to do it serapegia for the chain of hearts they're actually growing now so they'll strike roots a lot faster uh, than say if you're trying to do it in the winter months so <laughs> this one's going a bit crazy so I'm, yeah i'm just gonna pick pick a batch of them and uh, usually we will take the cuttings and we'll put it into the cell trays but because it's the growing season I'm going to skip a step and put them straight into pots and I like to do it in uh, three three cuttings per pot it just saves having to continually prune them back to get them nice and thick and uh, before we can uh, sell them you put a few cuttings in the one and it kind of speeds up the process there so we're just going to take uh, a cutting like that. Some people will call this the butterfly method because when you put it into the pot, though this isn't probably not a very good one, but it looks a little bit like a. Where's the one that you had? You did, you did earlier, Alicia. Uh, yeah, that one. The both leaves are pointing the same way. It doesn't have the same butterfly. Yeah, so you put it in like that, and some people reckon it looks a bit like a butterfly. Yeah. So we'll put it in the middle of the of the pot here. Um, I like to put three. And yeah, then we'll just water that um, after you know a day or so. Let the, the the cuttings to callus over the bits that we've cut off, and then start watering. And you know, do that weekly or so, uh, and then hopefully we'll get roots um, fairly soon. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're going to do water propagation, then you're probably best to get a longer strand. So uh, if I just cut it from here. Some people will, will actually take off the, the leaves here as well and then we can just put that in some water there and just let that dangle over. So into some dirty dam water, is it? Ah, it's actually it's the, <laughs> from the horse's trough. <laughs> so, <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> um, yeah. So <laughs> it's just, that's why it's a bit murky there. Um, yeah, so you can put a few, that's a bit short there, but you can put some, yeah, quite a number of long strands in there, uh, and that works really well. Uh, we've tried it as well, I know Alicia, you've done it um, in the house, and uh, it's done, we've had some good results from that as well. So, yeah, you can do it from tubers, um, yep, we just, uh, I don't know whether that one will come off. Uh, it has broken off, but it'll still work. And then, yeah, you just plant that, make sure you bury all the roots, uh, and it'll, start to either reshoot from this little bit of stem down here or it'll start to reshoot out from the tuber as well so we'll just cover that over like that and yeah wait a, a, probably a couple of weeks a little bit more and they'll start reshooting through there so a couple of different ways of doing it um they'll be in flower as well too they look really cool at the moment um so you can do them also from seed as well uh, if they've been pollinated and we just find it easier through the cuttings uh, or the tubers, but mainly I, I do cuttings because um, I like to leave the tubers in there. Just allow the parent plant just to continue to get nice and thick like this. Like it's pretty old there. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah, good time to just um, apply some sea salt as well, get them really going. 
Um, you can do that once uh, every couple of weeks or once a month. And that's pretty much it. Watering about weekly as well, or a little bit more because they're in growing season. Uh, as the cooler months start to kick in, then you back off on the watering um, and allow them to sleep. So hopefully you found that helpful. How much sun do they like before we go? Um, not, they don't like a lot of direct sunlight, so probably uh, an hour or two in the morning um, is, is enough for them. Some people will have them inside in a quite a bright area and that's fine as well. Or you can have them under a pergola, under a tree uh, and they'll, they'll be happy. Yeah. So just um, make sure it's a nice well drained mix as well that you put it in. Uh, be careful if you're having it as an inside plant that you don't water too much because uh, it being inside they're not exposed to the natural elements so they will take a lot longer to dry out uh, which could cause rot if you're doing it too watering them too much so just avoid that um, and that's pretty much it really yep they're a great plant uh, fairly fast growing especially this time of the year and they're, they're quite a popular one just because of the, the shape of the of the leaves yeah, and the colour. Especially really the pretty. variegated one, it's so pretty. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any other questions, please shoot shoot them through. Uh, have a great rest of your week. And yeah, keep liking, subscribing. Uh, and yeah, please feel free to continue to shoot through some uh, some topics that you'd like us to talk to uh, talk, or talk about. Um, and I'm happy to add them to the list. So, see you next week.